Let's get into it. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Sass here. I'm here for another Foolery Friday. Yeah! <laughs> this is part two. I put up part one yesterday because, child, I did not want to do an hour video. So, I broke it down into two parts. Y'all seem to like that. And I will do that from time to time if there is a lot of news, child. A lot of news. Y'all, it is 80-some degrees outside. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, just a couple of days ago, it was 40 degrees. What's going on with this weather? I hope it makes up his mind. Anyway, it's supposed to be in the 80s all through the weekend. And Lord, I just want it to make up his mind. Okay, so I hope you all are doing well. I'm doing just fine. And let's get into it. Now, let's talk about Black China. Black China is suing the Kardashians. I've seen different figures. I've seen around 100 million on up to 180 million. Black China, you really think you're going to get that type of money with your shenanigans? Really? Now, a couple of weeks ago, you tried to put the baby daddies on blast. Tiger came back and cracked you in the face. Then Rob had to come back and crack you in the face. That's one embarrassment. So now the court proceedings have started. And baby, they done put your mama out. What's the mama's name, y'all? Tokyo Tony. Ain't that her mama's name? Tokyo Tony done went on Instagram, Twitter, whatever, on one of the social medias, filming herself outside the courtroom talking about, they done put me out. Your daughter is suing for a hundred million dollars. You can't keep your mouth shut for five minutes. There's just something wrong with them. All love them. So she done got put out. I don't know if she's been, she, I don't think she's been able to get back into the courtroom. I think that while she was in there or while she was online running her mouth, she done made threats to the Kardashians. So I don't think she's going to be able to go back into the courtroom. Y'all, what's wrong with them? Now we know. Black China and Rob Kardashian had a very toxic relationship. There was allegations of domestic, you know, that they were hitting on each other. We seen the show. Well, I watched the show and it was horrible. I was like, there's no way this is going to work. And it didn't. Black China's attorney, Lena Sienna claim Chris and her daughters contacted E! Executives. Chris allegedly told executives that Black China beat the crap out of Rob's face. The Kardashians' illegal conduct cost Black China millions of dollars after her show was canceled. Black China was humiliated and emotionally devastated by the Kardashians' extreme betrayal. First of all, I watched the show, and the only ones that was on camera cutting the shine were you and Rob. You and Rob. Extreme betrayal. Michael Rhodes, the attorney for Kim, Chloe, Chris, and Kylie, says that Black China allegedly strangled Rob Kardashian with an iPhone charger cord and put a G-U-N to his head. Corey Gamble allegedly broke up a physical altercation between Rob and China December the 15th, 2016. Now this whole G-U-N to the head took place December 14th. 
E Network allegedly canceled Rob and China because of the toxic nature of their relationship. I believe that. It was a dumpster fire of a show. Whoever thought that was a good idea should run into a tree. Terrible idea. Terrible. Now, let's talk about this cord to the neck, allegedly, and the G-U-N to the head. Now, obviously, there is no allegedly. Apparently, this did happen. Black China put a cord around Rob's neck and put a G-U-N to his head. You want to know why? Because she admitted it. She said that she did it as a joke. Black China, did you want the money or not? Because once the judge or the jury or whoever going to make the final decision, after they heard that, honey, I will be, you will be lucky to get $10. You done put a G-U-N to his head that you admitted to. She said it was unloaded as a joke. Who jokes about that? I don't find that funny. You put a cord around it and joke. Hey, China is, y'all, there's something wrong with her. It is also being said that she had made threats towards um, Kylie. This, this whole thing is just a mess. If Black China gets any money, I don't care if they give her $20. She better be happy with it. Because there is no way on God's green earth this woman is going to get a hundred million dollars out of the Kardashians. Especially, especially with the G-U-N incident. And then to say it was a joke? What y'all think? Hmm? What y'all think? Y'all think Black China gonna get a hundred million dollars after Kardashians? <laughs> I think the F not. Let's move on. All right, all right. Let's talk about Memphis and Hamza. Now, at the reunion, the two-parter, we know that Memphis left because um, she said she had gotten sick from the lights. So she left early. Now, when she left, every folks went into a frenzy. Oh, she's leaving because she did not want them to question her about if Hamza is the father of the baby. I had some of you come into my comments and say that. She left because she didn't want to be confronted about Hamza not being the father. You all, how long have y'all been watching this show? It's 90 Day Fiance. I talk about the shady producers all the time. And if you all think for one minute, for one second, that if the shady 90 Day producers thought for one second that Hamza was not the father, do you really think they wouldn't bring that up? Do you think you would know before the 90 Day producers would know? That would have been the very first segment. Shauna would have led off with that. First parter. Hamza, Memphis, how y'all doing? Memphis, how the baby doing? Oh, that's good. The baby's beautiful. Now, listen, there is some rumors going around that it may not be Hamza. They're going to start off with that. But, oh, no, there's no way she could have got pregnant in Tunisia. And Memphis says she tired of y'all. Memphis has proven that she did get pregnant while in Tunisia.
Asia. To clear up the confusion, this is from Screen Rant. To clear up the confusion, Memphis posted proof that she got pregnant with Hamza's baby during her Tunisia trip, dismissing the rumors that she was carrying someone else's child. She posted a screenshot shows birth month conception ranges. Memphis then asked her Instagram followers to look at the conception month of an October baby, which is from January the 7th to February the 6th. And right here is the conception chart. Since Memphis got sick during the tell-all and left prematurely, many viewers assumed that she did, she wanted to avoid explaining the timeline of her pregnancy. Y'all stop. That is Hamza's baby. That's Hamza's child. Okay? Now, what's going on with them? I have no idea. Allegedly, she done put Hamza out the house. Allegedly, they are separated. She's been slick shading him in comments. This is a comment, y'all. I'm so happy for you. But like someone has already said, be careful. For someone who is such a strong believer, the devil will come dressed in disguise. Memphis's reply is, exactly, I married one. Now, I had high hopes for Memphis and Hamza. I'm tired of supporting these couples. I'm going to start keeping my mouth all the way shut. So, Memphis is speculating that Hamza is not the man that he portrayed to be. Again, they are allegedly filming for the new season of, what, which one would this be, y'all? 90 Day Fiance, The Lies I Do Tell. Is that what it is? 90 Day Fiance, I don't believe none they got coming out the mouth. 90 Day Fiance, everybody just shut it. Is that, what, what, what is it, y'all? It ain't 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. It's 90 Day, what is the, what's the other one? Let's move on. Bye bye. Now let's talk about Benzino. Now I'm not going to go into the whole thing with Benzino and Deshauna Brooks. Okay? We have heard a lot about that. And quite frankly, she showed receipts. The receipts she showed this last time. We have Benzino with none of this. Allegedly, butt ball naked in front of the mirror, all oiled up. It looked like, not even baby oil, it looked like Benzino that went and got a bucket of lard and just put, I said, what? And he's trying to do the D'Angelo, how does it feel um, video. But the great value version, Benzina, Benzina, how dare you, sir? How dare you, sir, take the brilliance and the beauty and the sexiness of D'Angelo's video, how does it feel? And you try to recreate that. How dare you, sir? know who you think you are but D'Angelo you are not D'Angelo up there looking like a whole Hershey bar honey he out here breaking marriages with that video how dare you sir think you can recreate it remember the part of the video when D'Angelo singing and he rods back and you can see the shape. I call it the Ken doll shape. 
you know, it looked like somebody just attached his legs to his, <laughs> to that part right there, that V part, honey. Honey, baby. And everybody was like this at the TV. Come on, camera. Camp. Come on, camera. Camp. Are you going to go lower? What the? D'Angelo! <laughs> Everybody's like, is that camera going to? How does it feel? Everybody's like, yeah, honey. Whoo. Honey, a classic. And then here is no net Zeno. So with that aside. Benzino, I have always said something's wrong with him. Something's wrong with him. I don't care who he's hooking up with, embarrassment, I don't care nothing about that. But he always seems to want to be in the news. The whole thing with his daughter. He goes back and forth on social media with his daughter. Let his daughter have her success. Why do you always have to be in the middle of something? He almost cost a collab with Nicki Minaj because he's running off at the mouth. He can't stop talking. And I see why his daughter have, you know, such a hard relationship with him. They argue a minute. Get back together. They argue a minute. Get back together. And that's her dad. Do you really think that this girl want to see her dad on the shade room every other day? It has to be exhausting and tired. Now, Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta, she done interviewed no net Zena. Did y'all see how Candy was looking? Candy was like this. <laughs> oh. I just wish he would stay out off of social media. What is he proving? Is he trying to drop an album or something? I don't get it. Let your daughter have her shine. It just seems like he's, like, jealous of his daughter. What a mess. All oiled up. Looking like a deep fried turkey. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson was on a flight. And some little boy child wanted a picture, wanted to be seen, wanted to be heard. Now, from all accounts, from other witnesses, they said that Mike Tyson was very kind, cordial. Um, he went beyond what he should have. He was talking, he was chatty, he was laughing. You know, he took selfies. He was very, very, you know, accommodating. So it's time to set your butt down. Now this little idiot is behind Mike Tyson enticing him, triggering him, aggravating him. So Mike Tyson, being Mike Tyson, who have already been nice to your butt, Mike Tyson said, I done had about enough of you. Cut it out and cut it out now. So, of course, this young man thinking that is funny. Of course, this young man thinking about the dollars. What can I do to get Mike Tyson to punch me in the face? This is this idiot. Who wants to get punched in the face, first of all? And who wants to get punched in the face by Mike Tyson? He may be older, but he still got hands. This idiot is all up in Mike Tyson's face. Mike Tyson said, that's it. Mike Tyson proceeds to punch. Boom, 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 boom. This boy in the face several times. On the plane. And then Mike Tyson walks off the plane. 
the idiot boy took a selfie of himself. Forehead bleeding. He had a little swole, little redness right here. <laughs> he done took a selfie of himself like this. People, people are crazy, y'all. People are nuts. And they are all about social media, getting clicks, getting likes, even go to the extent of getting punched in the face by Mike Tyson. You cannot tell me that young man didn't know what he was doing. He will sue Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson is on video punching him. I'm surprised he wasn't arrested. Oh my God. You got a souvenir, young man. You can't be dumb forever. That's it, y'all. That is it. I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend. And I will see y'all tomorrow for Love After Lockup. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, friends.